Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of Huss Nation, where I give you tips and tricks on the home buying and mortgage process. Today we're going to talk about our furry little friends, pets, and all you need to know about them. Let's get started. So first let's dive into pet deposits, both for landlords and for renters. So each state is a little bit different, uh, so you do want to check your local uh, state website or, or Google just to see what your state requires as far as deposits go. In Arizona, they do uh, put a limit as far as the amount of total fees that can be collected on uh, a rental, so you cannot charge more than one and a half times the monthly rent. In, in fees and deposits for, for anything on a rental. So for example, if your monthly rent is $1,000, you can't charge more than $1,500 for both the rent and any deposits. So first month's deposit would be $1,000 and then another uh, $500 for the fees and anything. So all the fees are lumped together. So cleaning fees, sometimes there's a processing fee. This would also include a pet deposit. So any pet deposit in Arizona that uh, is more than uh, you know one and a half times the rent is illegal. So if your landlord is, uh, or you're a landlord and you are doing this, uh, I would stop, number one, because you can face civil penalties and lawsuits in the state of Arizona based on that. So some states have no limit, others have stricter limits as far as what you can collect. So again, just check your local state website or Google and just be 100% sure on that. So landlords can actually uh, prohibit you from getting a pet in the, in the house. Um, now, there are exceptions to this. So the first one would be is if they are a service animal or some type of a, a special needs animal. So for example, if you're blind and you need a, a seeing eye dog or some type of a, you know, a dog or, or something, some type of animal to help you that's part of your, your public health. That would be covered under uh, the Fair Housing Act, uh, federal law. So legally, they cannot kick that dog or pet out. So an emotional support animal does not fall under the same categories like a service or seeing animal. Um, so it is, again, state by state, as uh, many of the, the jurisdictions in each state have decided one way or another. So again, check. Your, your state local government, um, but in general they are not considered uh, service animals that would fall under the federal law. So just keep that in mind uh, if you do have one of those animals. Uh, another example would be is if the, the landlord knows you have an animal uh, but either changes it midway through the lease, they cannot do that, or if they just uh, know you have an animal but never collect a deposit um, or never enforce it, they can't just all of a sudden charge it to you right in the middle or right at the end of a lease. Uh, so usually what will happen is the if they uh, have a, a pet deposit, they'll collect that uh, with the first month's rent. Um, but if they fail to do that in the first month, they cannot come back in the second or third month usually just because that precedent has already been set. So again, just a quick recap on this. Um, again, for the most part, just check your state and local governments, but uh, usually, again, in Arizona, there is a one and a half uh, month deposit cap that you can be charged for both pet deposits and really all deposits and fees, uh, but each state's different. And then also uh, service animals or uh, landlords who don't enforce their pet policy cannot uh, be evicted or cannot kick out those animals. Uh, also, service animals and emotional support animals are not considered the same on the federal side, so it is a state-by-state -state basis. So just wanted to clarify that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate Try to bring out these videos every week. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please do like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Instagram, our Facebook. Love talking to you guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, we're always open. This one was a suggestion. So thanks again for watching. Really do appreciate it. And we'll uh, see you guys next week. Bye-bye.